Well, hello, friends. Uh, so today it's an exciting uh, topic we'll be covering about uh, you know this uh, book called uh, Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read this book, um, you know this is kind of uh, you know 1937 is the it was first published uh, by Napoleon Hill. And uh, subsequently, Napoleon Hill uh, wrote this book as well called The Master Key to Riches. Um, so let me just briefly tell you about uh, this book. Then we'll discuss about, uh, you know, how we can practice. Okay, practically, anyone can practice these principles, what has been uh, mentioned here. Okay, and then we can also be humongously successful. Now, as a matter of fact, this book is, uh, you know, something uh, which, uh, you know, that's written by Napoleon Hill, but Napoleon Hill um, uh, interviewed, I think, uh, more than 100 uh, different entrepreneurs that time, okay, um, and uh, then entrepreneurs were extremely successful in uh, their own uh, venture, in their own uh, fields. And uh, then he wrote this book, okay? So, so the, the contents of this book, what he has written is not something which, uh, you know, which was um, his own thoughts or his own opinion. Rather, it's the opinion uh, of many different entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, you know, especially most of them entrepreneurs. I think there are few quotations or few, um, uh, sort of uh, remarks and comments of, uh, you know, one famous uh, artist that time as well. So it's more importantly, or mainly it's a different entrepreneurs who have become extremely uh, rich, you know, during that uh, time, um, you know, so, so that is what he has written this book on, or, you know, this is a compilation of his interviews with all different people. Okay. So I would highly encourage you to go through and read this book. Uh, and also read this book as well. And this is, uh, these have got a lot of practical uh, steps for anyone to um, uh, learn and implement. So the practical, this is not kind of a theory thing. This is a you know, step. So what we'll be covering today is uh, uh, certain techniques, okay? What he has, uh, you know, mentioned about and uh, how, how we can practice these and become successful, okay? Now, let me, uh, let me just briefly tell you about uh, how this uh, concept, which is, uh, you know, which has been mentioned here, holds good right now as well, okay? If you uh, talk to um, or, uh, you know, watch any of these uh, interviews uh, on YouTube by people like um, Elon Musk, let's say, okay? Or uh, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, if you if you you know read any of uh, you know the interviews, and if you look for uh, you know more kind of uh, videos, you'll find a lot of videos as well um, um, on the interviews. They have been interviewed by people who um, you know by by different reporters or different people, but they are on mindset. If you look for you know the interviews um, which inquires about the mindset of these uh, you know successful entrepreneurs, you will find exactly the same thing, whatever has been mentioned here, these people's thought process are the same. Okay, so that means there is no difference between our, we ordinary people, you know, our mind and thought process and the other people who are extremely successful in their, their you know, career and successful entrepreneurs. And the difference is uh, how we think or what we think, okay? So are uh, the same mind, but if it's, uh, you know, thinking differently, um, so the, the future or, you know, the destination becomes completely different, okay? So let's now dive deep into the teachings of this book, okay? And uh, then we will practice this as well so that, uh, you know, uh, you can also learn. So let me just share my screen and then we can discuss about the uh, different concepts real quick. Okay, so so this is the this is the topic. Uh, think and grow rich. Uh, you know, um, so meditation we'll be talking about that. Okay, so now these are two lines or two sentences. Just uh, you know, keeps everything. You know, entire book. You can say that you know um, is summarized in these two lines. First thing is uh, thoughts are things. Okay, let's elaborate on that. So what does that mean? Thoughts are things. So thoughts are things. 
it means. Um, so there is a chapter, you know, I think it is in the first uh, or second chapter. Uh, well, I think this is the chapter on, uh, okay, yeah, that is a chapter called Thoughts Are Things. That is the first chapter, okay? So this is a chapter I would uh, encourage you to read this book. Now it is, uh, you know, again, it's uh, there is a quotation or there's a kind of comment by Thomas Edison. You know, those of you who do not know Thomas Edison is the inventor of light bulb and, uh, you know, uh, the GE company, what we see now, it is uh, started by uh, Thomas Edison as well. And uh, so he says that, uh, you know, thoughts are things, okay. So uh, meaning all of us, okay, he, uh, he mentions about one of the oh, famous quotation by someone. Uh, he says that, uh, you know, you are the creator of your own destiny. So, you know, somewhere it's, it's written as a looking for that um, yeah mm -hmm. henley okay so oh, the gentleman's uh, you know he talks about uh, a gentleman called henley he says that i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul okay um so that was uh, kind of uh, written by uh, henley i think he was a famous artist i guess and it talks about so he says, what does it mean? You know, when Henry says that I am the master of my fate and I'm the captain of my soul, because I always have this sort of a question in my mind that uh, do we have a destiny? So that means, are we destined for certain things? So that means if I am destined to be uh, mediocre or middle class, I will be always middle class. If, I, if I'm destined to, uh, uh, you know, uh, do destined to be an IT consultant, I will be an IT consultant. I'm destined to be, uh, you know, a stock broker, I'll be a stock broker. So destiny is something like most of most of us, we believe that there is something called destiny, or at least I always thought that there is something called destiny. But as for this book, which, which makes an absolute sense as well, you'll understand that he says that destiny, so, you know, it's another petition, I'll, I'll read it out, you know, this is a famous quotation. It says, until you make the unconscious conscious, okay, unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate or destiny. Okay, so that's so powerful. Until you make the unconscious conscious, okay. So what does that mean? Let's, let's elaborate that then we everything will be revealed uh, that uh, how can we... Uh, be or anyone can be successful, humongously successful. Okay, so first of all, there is a nothing called destiny. Okay, why he talks about that in this book as well? So this is because we God has given. If you believe in God, that God has given us the power to think. We can think whatever we want at this point of time. If I can think of, uh, let's say, I am just climbing. A Himalayas mountain, then, you know, nobody can stop me to think that. If I can just close my mind and uh, think of, uh, you know, um, sitting inside a car or driving, nobody can stop me. You can't stop me. Nobody can stop me or, you know, same for you as well. So all of us have the right or, or we have been given the power to our thoughts, okay, whatever we we want to, we can think, okay? So probably no other uh, animal in this, in this animal kingdom or in this God's creation, no other, uh, you know, animal has been given that power to think, okay? Nobody can think, okay? So except we humans, we, uh, you know, women can, can think, you know, we can Im create emotions, we can, we can emotionalize. Well, certain cases, certain animals, uh, you know, may have a bit, bit, bit of emotion. For example, if you see dogs, you know, your pets may have a bit of emotion at us. They know a bit of love and all, but uh, not at the level at which the, we humans have. Okay, so that is the reason why you know they say that okay, the animals, uh, you know, which are which have emotion, uh, they are kind of closer to humans, and uh, you know. Um, I read somewhere that you know you should not should kill those animals okay? uh, because they are just like human. You know, it's, it's just like you are killing, killing you know another kind of murdering you know kind of things like that. Okay. Anyways, so we don't get into that. So let's talk about then 
you know, the destiny it talks about that in the first paragraph, oh, sorry, first chapter, it says there is no destiny, but we decide, I decide my own future and how, because sometimes you may think, okay, no, 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 no. I cannot decide. Okay, he says that, okay, because thoughts are things and we have control, absolute control on our thoughts. If uh, I have control on the thoughts, that means I have control on what will happen next. Okay, so that means I have a control on the destiny. If I have a control on what is going to happen in five minutes down the line and one hour down the line, then that means I have control on what will happen five years down the line, 10 years down the line. Okay, so that is super powerful. So that means we all have something um, you know, um, in our control or we entire our destiny or that is you know, whatever we want we can accomplish because why? Because we have absolute right to uh, control our thoughts or to take our thoughts to whatever we want. Okay, so that's very important. So thoughts are things, what does that mean? So that means whatever we think, then it manifests later on. Okay, so that means the thoughts, our thoughts are the things. So that means it will manifest uh, itself in different forms, okay? So what does that mean? So if you are not sure about, okay, what is this uh, manifestation means? Okay, just in very clear terms, okay? Um, whatever we see all around us, okay? Let's say the house in which, you know, I am now or you are now, okay? Now that was someone's thought. Okay, once upon a time, somebody had thought about it that, okay, there is a house to be built and somebody again in that thought uh, designed the house and then physically, okay, physically things were put in place. So that means, uh, you know, bricks, you know, and uh, all those other, um, you know, uh, construction work started with all those materials needed. Okay, so these are physical things, okay which we are assembled or put in place after the thoughts, okay, uh, created that first in its, uh, you know, or the, or the architect or the designer or somebody who thought about it, okay. So they thought about the entire thing in the mind and then it uh, physically, the things started to happen, okay. So that is the reason why it is said that thoughts are things that means, uh, you know, uh, if you, if you see the, uh, the evolution process, okay? And if you see, I know once there was no house, okay? We human beings, you know, or homo sapiens, if you see, you know, once upon a time, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we are kind of a, with, it, with the evolution process, uh, we didn't have anything around us of material, okay? What the material thing was all trees or rivers or, you know, we didn't, so slowly out of all the things around us, okay, slowly, whatever we see today, that is that manifested, okay? So that means the thoughts, okay, slowly always goes in. If I can see the light today, that was the thought of uh, Thomas Edison, that the thought which came in and he experimented as so many different experiments, now we have light. So that means whatever hasn't happened yet, can happen. So what does that mean? So the light bulb, uh, you know, did not happen in the mind of anyone except Thomas Edison. And it will happen and he started working on it. And then we saw the light. And now we can see the lights everywhere in, uh, you know, uh, in the darkness, we can see the light. Okay. But it was in someone's thought. So in nutshell, thoughts are things. So that means whatever hasn't happened yet, it, it will happen if I can think about it, okay? So that is quite important, thoughts are things. Second thing is all thoughts which have been emotionalized. That means when, uh, you know, it is given a feeling and mixed with faith. Now, very, very important, guys, you have to understand that, okay? Thoughts are very important, it says. Second thing it uh, talks about is uh, thoughts, associated with something called emotion. And the third element is faith. Thought, emotion, and faith. These three things coming together, what happens immediately, it translates into physical equivalent. So that means how thoughts become things, 
things are physical thoughts are you know in the mind okay so from non existence so that means existing in the in 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 the mind to existing physically okay mental and physical there is a link and he talks about that the process itself written in this book is uh, thoughts emotions and faith when they are combined together then it can manifest so what does that mean so if you want to be rich if you want to accomplish anything in life just have a thought first okay second have created the emotion second thing thoughts and emotion and then third is the faith develop you know absolute faith okay faith as opposed to fear okay that's quite important thing you have to remember faith and fear okay same but you know both sides of the same coin okay faith is when you believe that something will happen and uh, fear is you fear you have a feeling that it will not happen okay so because the likelihood of or something happening or not happening you know it's this thought you can think of that it can happen you may think that it will, it will not happen so again a thought process so the same thing but those people who develop fear they will never they will never be able to manifest physically okay that means fear so you have to develop what faith okay so the faith that means the positive same thoughts okay positive thought is faith but negative when it the thought uh, you know comes that becomes fear okay so so how can we accomplish anything first is the thought and th uh, develop or add with the thought the emotion and the faith and then you can manifest anything you want so now let's go deeper into it ag again okay so what is emotion okay now you know about the thoughts but we'll discuss about that as well in the next slide but we discuss uh, we know about the thoughts now but let's discuss about briefly about emotion then we'll talk about as well how can we have what kind of a thought next slide says it has to be definite definiteness of purpose absolute certainty i'm sorry certainty is absolutely needed okay in your thoughts okay so definiteness of purpose is needed in the thought so we'll discuss about that and let's talk about thoughts emotionalized what does emotion means and how can how can a thought be emotionalized okay now emotion what are emotions emotions is uh, the emotions are the feelings okay what what are the different kinds of feelings let's let's discuss about feelings feeling of love okay so love is a feeling passion it's it's a feeling anger is a feeling hatred is a feeling affection is a feeling now do you, do you understand that these are the emotions or these are the feelings okay revenge okay it's it's a it's a feeling okay within yourself success that's a feeling okay so this the feeling of success feeling of win winning something okay so these are all the emotions and the feelings okay so thoughts has to be um you know has to be linked or thoughts has to be triggered thought has to be combined thoughts has to be integrated with emotions and uh, also it has to be linked with faith okay so thoughts emotion and faith let's to get into deep into it okay how does that work together okay you understand about the emotion let's talk about you discuss about briefly about faith faith and fear okay same thing when you when you believe that something uh, will happen it's faith and when you believe that it's it will not happen is uh, 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 the fear so how can you develop these three things then you can accomplish anything you want and why how other people other highly successful people or successful entrepreneurs have done it okay so let's get into that definiteness of purpose your thoughts let's talk about the talk about the thoughts now thoughts have to be definite it has to be crystal clear 
okay so now so so you have to we have to know what exactly we want okay the thoughts have to be clear so that means if you are in this in this uh, webinar and you think that okay i want to be rich okay okay that you want to be rich that's really good so you have uh, a purpose you have you want to accomplish certain things okay but you have to make it definite first is the desire you have to have a desire okay and the thoughts come from that desire okay so the desire and thought that are all connected so that uh, that means desire is there and the thoughts okay desire and thoughts so thoughts are kind of uh, you know on a consistent basis you are you are thinking but desire is what pulls you towards it okay so thoughts and desires okay this is kind of a, this is bigger thing there is a desire so let's take the example okay if you have a desire okay to become a successful entrepreneur if you have a desire to start your own e-commerce business if you have a desire to start your own consulting company these are the desires okay so that means uh, there could be other desires that are associated with it. for example if you want you want to have a e-commerce internet based business or when when um, jeffrey bejos had this desire to start amazon okay a desire so his desire was okay e-commerce is coming in internet is going to blow up and it be, it will become so huge then he wanted to leverage okay he wanted to leverage that uh, you know that desire okay and uh, he wanted to uh, back it up by action by multiple thoughts so when thoughts come in that means there are different thoughts which uh, you know comes in your mind in order for you to uh, you know accomplish your desire okay so that is that's a desire and thoughts but these thoughts have to be definite it says okay so that means there are small little things okay small little uh, accomplishments okay these are called you know the uh, the thoughts which are connected with your desire so first you have to have the desire if you if you do not have a desire okay then probably you know um, you won't be here okay in this in this uh, you know webinar so that means you definitely have the desire okay now if uh, if you have the desire then you have to back it up with uh, you know uh, the different thoughts okay now let's talk about the different uh, thoughts and definiteness of purpose okay definiteness okay the, that means crystal clear in your mind first thing is definiteness how do you how, you know how can you be definite by these are the certain elements he has mentioned that write down exact amount so if you want to be rich you want to make a lot of money what is a lot of money exact amount okay i want to accomplish uh, you know let's say $10000 or uh, $20000 a month or $100000 a month whatever okay so whatever your mind believes or you are, you can think of that's your desire okay that that is your thought okay so that means just write it down if you feel like okay uh, the uh, the higher the my desire is better okay yes absolutely but there is a definitely uh, you know your your desire or your thoughts um, will have certain um, elements of um, doubt as well may creep in if it's a very huge goal or desire or ambition okay what does that mean so let's say today you are in this call or in this webinar and uh, you know after the webinar you say okay i need to be making a million pound next month well it's a good uh, desire or you know uh, this is a big dream that's really good but deep within your heart do you believe that you can accomplish 1 million dollar income next month because somebody inside you will say okay that's not possible you are just talking the talk so yeah this is a inner conversation inside you there are two individuals will be talking to you each other okay so that is quite important for you to now assess that uh, uh, you know is uh, you know this uh, income goal whatever i want to accomplish is that realistic if you believe then yes go for it okay so if you do not believe you know and if you are thinking yes or no so that means do not go for that goal go for a lower goal 
Okay, it's quite important for you to first, you yourself has to believe that is possible. Okay, so that means an exact amount, what kind of amount, okay, is a good income for you. Okay, now it could be a uh, you know, short term goal, could be a long term goal, could be a medium term goal. What does that mean? So that means it's short term, let's say only two to uh, five, six months. What is your goal? Okay, it may be a hundred thousand dollars income, or in a year's time, it may be a you know, one million dollar income, or in you know, 10 years' time, it may be a hundred million dollar income, whatever you think, there is nothing wrong or right. Whatever you think, that is the exact amount. What is what is very important? Writing down. Okay, so writing down is very important. So how do you write it down? Let me just show you one of my journals. Okay, so journaling these is extremely important. Okay, so have kind of a journal like this and writing down. Okay, so these are the written things. Whatever you you want to do, you know, you just have to write it down. Okay. So writing down it, it definitely helps you. Okay, so put put everything down in a in a piece of uh, you know uh, in a in a journal, and it's a very very important. Okay, that uh, write written down goals, which they did a study. Um, I think in nineteen seventies, I think it's a study which has been published in a lot of different books as well about uh, in, in Harvard uh, Business School, they did a study with, uh, you know, I think uh, 1972 pass out or something. I, I, I may be wrong on that year, but uh, mul multiple books, okay? I have read about this study where they say that, you know, it was a study about, uh, you know, um, they, they, they did in, in Harvard where, uh, you know, they just interviewed and find out a certain, uh, you know, year, um, the passing out all the all the students who were passing out in that year, they did a survey to find out okay, how many of them had written down goals. Okay, how many didn't have? Okay, how many just vaguely knew about that but they never put it down. So they just found out that uh, around ten percent of the entire class, uh, you know, they had written down, you know, uh, what they want, you know, in five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years. So they had written it down. Only how many ten percent? Okay, around 20% 20 of, uh, you know, the rest, 20% uh, uh, out of the rest, uh, you know, they had some kind of a plan in their mind, but they never wrote it down. And the rest, okay, it's close to around 70%, they did not have any plan of action. Okay, so they just wanted to take the life the way it has been running. And they did a survey, okay, after 10 years of, uh, you know, 10 or 15 years, they did a survey to find out oh, these three different kinds of um, students which they had interviewed uh, you know, 10 years before, they wanted to know then how these students are doing actually in their career, in their personal life. And they found out that these 10% uh, you know, students or these kids, uh, you know, which, is, which are no more kids, now they had all settled in, uh, you know, good jobs or in their own businesses. They found out that these were these those 20, 10 percent were the were the students. They were shining. They were very very successful than the rest of the ninety percent. Okay. Now out of the rest ninety percent, they found out that the rest the twenty percent. Okay. Out of those ninety percent, twenty percent who knew that what they wanted to become, wanted to do in their life, they were fairly successful. Okay monetary wise, okay, in reputation and in their family uh, wise as well. So they were more successful than the people who did not have any goal in their life. So the message here is, you know, it's not enough as well for you to uh, have a dream, have a goal, but it's important to write those down, okay? So now, now, then we move on to exactly what you intend to give in return. So what does that mean? So that means uh, riches. If you want to be rich, you want to make a lot of money. So the money what you make is uh, in it's a compensation for the uh, you know the benefit what you have given to the other person. That's a compensation. You have been compensated, and that is what the money is all about anyway. Okay, so. What does that mean? 
So that means what exactly, how are you planning to benefit them, benefit the, the world, okay, help the world. So that is quite important because money is the return. This is, uh, this is the result, okay. So the cause, this is the effect, but the cause is what you have given, okay. And then you are expecting a return. So what you have given is quite important. So that means you have to be crystal clear in your mind that what is that I would intend to give, okay? Is that, uh, you know, products, okay? But I'll be selling products or I'll be providing some services or I would be providing, um, you know, um, or uh, developing a, you know, a website or an app or a game, whatever. So this is how you are serving the world. So what exactly you intend? So it has to be very crystal clear in your mind that what exactly you are going to give so that you know, you'll get the money in return. The third thing is exact date. So by when you want to have that money, what you have written down, the exact amount you want to, to have. So that is quite important, the exact date. And then it comes to exact plan. Again, what does that mean? Exact plan. So how do you want to have it? Okay, what do you have a plan? So that is important as well. Okay, the planning side of it. Okay, that has to be very, very crystal clear, exact plan. Okay, I want to provide uh, this service, uh, you know, to people, okay, in return, you know, I will be rewarded, okay, this is my reward, the money what I'm making. So that means, so I will be giving more value, this is more, okay, the perceived value, okay, I will be giving more value. So again, let me quote uh, in a real quick one, if you haven't read this book, The Science of Getting Business, an amazing book as well, these are all the books on how you can uh, be rich. And this is, uh, you know, very important point. It says that uh, the put the okay. So let me just uh, quote here that see that you give them means the world, you know, the people around give them a use value, use value, okay, use value greater than the cash value you are taking from them. Do you understand? So that means you are just getting cash, but the use value. So that means here they should be benefiting more. That means how can, it's not a money and money. So you are giving them something and in turn you are getting something. So that means what you are giving, you know, the use value means, you know, they will be using that product or service. Okay, whatever that is, that value, that means, that value means what? The value they put in, okay, the appreciation what they have, what they think is the value, that has to be, uh, you know, higher than what they are giving you monetary-wise the value, okay? Then only it is a win-win situation here, okay? So that is quite important that you need to have uh, you know, you need to give first before you get it. Okay. Now, if you haven't read this book, as well, that's an amazing book, uh, you know, called, uh, where is that book called? Okay. Give and Take. Okay. So let me just uh, show you this book. It's an amazing book as well. Give and Take. Amazing. Top class book. Uh, Adam Grant. Okay. If you haven't read this, Adam Grant's uh, Give and Take. I would highly encourage you to read that book as well. Okay, so, so what you intend to give in return, you, you know that the exact date, you know, is something you have to put it, uh, you know, in place. That means when do you want to have it, okay? And then the exact plan you have to put in, okay? Plan of action. That means uh, it's a proper planning, okay, is needed. How you want to accomplish that. And... The planning, a lot of people do all those, uh, but begin on the plan now. That is the most important, okay? You may do every other thing, 
but if you do not take any action that is of no good okay begin on the plan now you have to start with your plan now okay now that means not today but right now so that means it is the power of now okay that's a book as well you know well i have i'm giving you so many so many books for you to read but uh, books will build you up like and no other thing okay so begin on the plan now then the next thing is a read out loud so this is what you know we are talking about this is called auto suggestion if you haven't come across the word auto suggestion i would again highly encourage you to read uh, you know uh, a book called um, uh, what to say when you talk to yourself okay that is a powerful book i haven't got it uh, on on my table now i have that book what to say when you talk to yourself on my library so i would highly encourage you to grab hold of a copy of that book what to say when you talk to yourself okay so that means you're talking we all talk to ourselves okay and this auto suggestion is all about you talking to yourself this is a reading out loud so that is one thing you read okay so that means you are reading that okay i want to have a million dollar income by december 2022 million dollar income then you have to define okay in a month in a year in certain month in uh, uh, you know in turnover wise in profit wise so what is that so that means it has to be exact million pound income in or million dollar income in a year's time in revenue or in profit okay so you have to be very very clear so that is reading out loud and the second thing is a feeling again guys it's very important very 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 important so when you are talking about feeling that brings us to these emotionalized feelings so that means you are not only talking okay reading out loud okay that i am okay very very important when you are reading out loud you are reading out loud in the present tense okay now when you read out loud in present tense then you are feeling it as well so quite important is a reading and you are feeling it as well okay a read the reading out loud and you feel it so when how do you feel it okay so that means you feel it okay as if you already have it you reading it as if you already have it so instead of saying i will make one uh, 1 million dollar or 100000 dollar or whatever that income okay you want to uh, you know set yourself a target on so then you have to uh, you have to read it that i already hey i am in december 2022 now okay what was a, that was a fantastic year and uh, you know i have hit my goal of 1 million dollar um, uh, revenue uh, this year i am just looking at my with my annual accounts and i see a million or little more than a million dollar income okay million dollar revenue so that means what you are seeing is you are taking it you know you are visualizing it you are seeing it you are feeling it in the present as if you already have accomplished that okay so and then next thing is believe you already you have already achieved it so reading is auto suggestion feeling is emotionalized and when you are saying believing what you are saying is you have your faith on okay so that is very powerful guys you have to understand that you have so not only auto suggestion works auto suggestion couple with uh, you know um, feelings and the faith feelings faith and suggestions that is the key to your success guys okay so these three things now when you are going to uh, you know we are talking about the faith or the belief okay there are couple of pointers as well written in this book okay there is a chapter on faith Uh, you know you can read it as well but practical steps will let's discuss about that so on that feeling okay no sorry on the, on the faith or the belief how do you develop that belief and faith okay do you know that 
So this is the faith and belief is interconnected with your first thing, which is uh, you know auto suggestion. So that means when you are speaking it, then you are already having it. Okay. So that means you are uh, already developing the faith. So in this book, emphatically it says that the only way. Okay. Let me just read it round. Repetition of affirmation of orders to your subconscious mind is the only known method, only known method of voluntary development of the emotion of faith. Repetition of affirmation of orders to your subconscious mind. Repetition. So that means you are repeatedly okay so you are repeatedly telling it over and over again okay repetition so you are talking it to yourself you are reading it loud every time when you are repeating guys if you do not know already our brain has a lot of neurons millions of neurons neurons are the the patterns okay that is interconnected uh, you know um uh, you know, integrated, you can say circuits in our, in our brain, okay? So this is, uh, you know, this uh, energy flows through it, you know, there is a certain amount of current flows through it, okay? They have already already uh, tested as well that when it flows, then it creates, okay? You can measure, okay? So they have devices as well you can put in and it can be measured your thoughts, okay? How it, it, it creates certain amount of electricity, certain amount of energy, Okay, so that means our that energy, our thoughts creates that energy. Okay, and that energy, you know, could be positive and could be negative as well. Okay, so it's quite important that uh, you know you develop the faith by uh, repeatedly telling. And the good thing about that, our mind, okay, cannot differentiate between what is wrong. Okay, I, what is real and what's unreal? What does that mean? So when you are saying, when I'm saying that, okay, you speak as if you already have it. Okay, so that means you are saying that you are already accomplished that. Okay, you are you are speaking it multiple times. Okay, you are feeling it that you already have accomplished that. Okay, when you are when you are closing your uh, uh, eyes and you are you are thinking about it and you are you are talking about it and loudly and uh, you know whenever uh, you know you are you are uh, you know outside or uh, you know. Uh, you cannot shout uh, or you cannot talk loud then you are talking to yourself as well but whenever you are talking it then you are creating that certain mental pattern uh, you know neural connection in your brain okay what is a neural connection then guys neural connection is whatever we can do today i am i am talking to you right now is because there is a pattern which has developed and I have memorized certain things, okay, in the brain of how to talk. And that is what a neural pattern has developed, okay? By repetition, when we are kids, we repeat A for apple, B for ball, C for, uh, you know, I don't know what, C for cat, okay? So whatever you're doing is, uh, you know, repeatedly when you are, when you are uh, you know, talking out loud and you are, when you are thinking about certain things, it creates a, neural pattern okay and that is what we call that's our memories or our our personality or what we think about ourselves okay so that a neural pattern can be erased or new patterns could be developed or old pattern we can get rid of but these to pattern uh, you know which has already been developed okay in order for uh, that pattern the pattern, the way it is developed is through exposing our, our um, you know, our neurons are exposed to different kinds of emotions, okay? So that means whatever the five senses, you know, um, uh, brings to, to the brain, okay, five senses, whatever you are seeing, whatever you are hearing. So seeing and hearing, okay, it, uh, you know, that perception, okay, then goes, uh, for example, if the same thing two people are uh, you know, hearing, if the perception of one person, okay, one person rejects that, okay, I say that if uh, you know somebody says that, okay, you are you are an idiot, okay. If somebody says that you are an idiot, 
okay and uh, you know i know for sure that i am not an idiot you know this guy is this bollocks you know this is saying rubbish so what does that mean so that means my mind does completely rejects it okay but somebody else if uh, if uh, you know if uh, if i take in uh, whatever i'm hearing say okay you are an idiot so, okay oh, yes i am an idiot then what happens throughout my life i will feel like i am an idiot okay because the neural pattern has developed i accept it so it's very important that uh, you know once you are developed certain things it it takes a bit of a time but the way to we reverse our belief again guys belief okay belief that means three things as you have seen already so the belief or the faith okay it has developed over a period of time if thousands of time i have already experienced or thousands of time i have been told that you cannot do certain things and suddenly something comes up and i start to feel like i can do it probably there is a very less chance that i will feel that way that i can do it it it, it may not be possible it, it's a uh, um, mind may reject it as well okay so because a pattern has developed but that does not mean that i am destined because my my mind is programmed that way that means uh, you know i am destined to be a failure because you know my my thought process is negative no why because the way this has developed is because those five senses okay has uh, you know fed in certain information okay and uh, you allowed okay these perceptions to uh, uh, to be embedded into the neurons uh, believing that this is correct okay now if you believed it you have a chance you do not believe it as well so when you reverse you try to reverse you don't believe it if somebody say that you are a failure if i say that no i'm not i am born to become successful i am successful so you can reject that i can reject that okay so for that then i have to develop a new neural patterns and the way i do it is that is what there is you know it talks about in this book called repetition it talks about repetition of affirmation i'm affirming i'm uh, what is affirmation i'm self talk i am talking to myself and affirming that i am a winner i can do it whatever i do i become successful okay i am i am a genius i am getting things done and uh, you know i am born to win so when i am speaking okay this is how the new neural pattern gets developed so today you know because we have uh, i think another 10 minutes so what we are going to do now is we are going to do a practical kind of you know exercise now so that we all know that how every day basis we can plan program our mind for tremendous success not only a, a small success but tremendous success okay so that brings us to the last 30 minutes think of the person you want to be so that is what we are talking about a meditation okay so you are thinking of exact the person who you i want to be as if i am already that person that is how i am going to uh i know i am going to uh, act okay or i am going to feel okay so guys are you ready so three things so what we are going to do then uh, we will be doing a quick meditation okay so that you understand now how can we embed these three things to reverse and program our mind for success these three things okay affirmation okay that means affirmation is what uh, you know our uh, it um, develops the third so we i hope that you have the definite purpose you do it or um, you know for yourself okay definiteness of purpose is extremely important okay but after that what we are today we are going to do is uh, to give you the technique okay which we have already discussed we'll do it together of how we can accomplish how we can do these practices of affirmation practices of, of developing the faith and practices of emotionalizing uh, you know uh, you know our um, our thoughts okay so that is what we are going to uh, do now so first of all you have to just close your eyes okay this is you have to prepare our physical so this is physical you can touch okay physical and there is a world inside which is mental 
Okay, so we have to connect the physical with mental, and the only way you can connect it is by slowing your body down. Okay, it's relaxing your body, and that is how you can look internally. Okay, and instantly too, you can slow your mind by instantly by slowing down your breath. Okay, your breathing pattern. Okay, and then through auto suggestion, we'll start to you know do this meditation. So close your eyes, and then just relax. Okay, relaxation is extremely important to connect with your mind. Okay, so so whenever if you are sitting there, um, you know just uh, stretch your um, you know legs and uh, you know your hands and everything. Just make it completely loose. Okay, completely relax. Then close your eyes. Why do you need to close your eyes? Because when you are getting into a, a journey internally, you have to shut things up external. Okay. So because uh, throughout the days, you know, you are always outside. Okay. So you have to now look internal, look within ourselves. Okay. Because what we are doing is you are thoughts are things. So what we are doing is now we are creating what we want in the future. We are creating that in the mind now as if it's already happened now. Okay, so close your eyes, relax completely. Okay, now relaxation wise, we'll do some auto suggestions as well for relaxation. Then we'll move on to our meditation. Okay, so wherever you are, close your eyes and uh, just focus on your feet first. Okay. Focus means your attention, entire attention is on first your right feet, okay? Do you feel the sensation? You have to feel it, okay? Every sensation, do you, do you feel cold? Do you feel in temperature, you know, it is cold, hot, okay? Is there any sensation of tingling sensation, ticklish sensation, uh, throbbing sensation, any sensation you feel, any pulsing sensation? Okay, any sensation, you just have to just observe closely. Why are we doing that? When you observe closely, you are connecting your physical being, which is uh, your leg with your mind. So that means there is a connection be because being established. Okay, why do you need to keep the connection established? Because we are connecting the physical world with your mental world because in a mental world manifest physical world. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. Okay, so now move on your to move your attention to your left feet. Okay, complete attention to the left feet. Okay, now now the toes. Okay, now keep the attention to both the toes and all the fingers on your feet. Okay, now let's move up slowly. Let's move up. You are what you are doing is entire attention. You are just focusing on your feelings. Uh, you know any any sensation you are getting or experiencing there. Okay, now your ankle. Okay, and uh, your calf. Both the calves. Okay, just focus your attention. Do you feel anything? Any temperature? Any ticklish sensation? It is uh, touching your uh, pants or trousers if you are feeling. So just feel it. So objectively just to feel, okay? Not to do anything else, just to feel. Do you feel? If you do not feel, that's fine. If you feel it, that's also fine. Just observe it, okay? Now let's move on, okay? Now your attention is on both your knees, okay? Attention, entire attention, okay? So now let's move on. Both the thighs, okay? One by one, just focus if you are not able to focus on both together. Okay, right thighs first. Any sensation? Just feel it. Do not try to alter anything, but feel it. And then the left, left thigh. Then you are moving up. Now your bottom. Feel the bottom. Okay, you're sitting on a chair. Do you feel this uh, chair? Feel the seat. Okay, lower abdomen, just feel it, any sensation. Your tummy, do you feel any sensation? 
Is it touching to your vest or shirt or t-shirt? Okay. As you breathe in and out, do you feel it's expanding and contracting as you breathe in and breathe out? Okay. Now both the arms and your shoulders, just feel it. Or both fingers, both hands, fingers, just feel it. And then your back, lower back and upper back. Just feel it. Any feeling? If no feeling, that's okay. If there is feeling, that's okay as well. Just observing. Okay, now let's move on. Your chin, your nose, and your breathing. You can feel it. And your forehead, your eyebrows. You can feel everything. So now you are in the process or you are kind of a connecting with your inner being. Your physical and mental is getting connected now. So what do you need to do now? is uh, you repeat, okay, some affirmation statement. What is the repetition? So that I am successful. I am humongously successful. I'm very, very successful. I have already accomplished my dreams. I'm so blessed. I am full of gratitude to the Almighty, if you believe in, if you believe in God, okay? I'm so thankful to, to the Almighty, to the universal forces, to the, to the Creator, Okay, to the infinite intelligence, whoever you believe in or not. Okay, so you just have to see that. Now, thank. You are thanking the infinite intelligence for making you so successful. You accomplished all your dreams now. You accomplished, you know, that success. You are now feeling the, feeling the success. Okay, you are feeling, um, you know, you are getting. Uh, recognized by people. You have been applauded by others. And you are so thankful to Almighty God, to the infinite intelligence, which is working day and night, which is making everything possible, making your heart beat, making your entire uh, blood flow, making you grow, make, switching on your digestive system and every single second, it keeps working, that energy. You are so thankful. You are you're an accomplished person. Whatever your dream, you accomplish. And not only that is satisfying you, but you are seeing a bigger vision, bigger future, and you are impacting the people all around the world. Not only in your own country, not only in your own city, you are touching lives all around the world because you are a citizen of this world. You have a responsibility and you are touching in people's lives and positively you are impacting other people. You are so thankful. Your chosen field, your dreams and ambition you have accomplished. You are enjoying the rewards of you serving others. Now that reward is uh, the success, the financial success, the dream of accomplishing that one. You are already having already that money. You have already that uh, you know money in your bank account. You already have that nice flashy car you always wanted to have, that house you always wanted to live in, and that relationship what you always wanted to have, and that love, affection, that what you always want. So this is what that emotion, guys, we discussed about it, emotionalizing. You are emotionalizing the thoughts. And you are saying that, thank you, Lord, for making me successful. Thank you. That's the gratitude. Nothing is more smarter, more fulfilling than the gratitude. Thank you, Lord, for being a blessing, for blessing me abundantly, and for all that you have done to me and help what you have rendered to me. Thank you, Lord. Now you are feeling the thankfulness. You are feeling deep within that thankfulness. You already accomplished that. That I, this moment of time, when your another thought may be coming, saying that, okay, you haven't accomplished, do not listen to that. What you are doing is you are focusing, okay, who am I? Who are you? You are just kicking that thought out just like a ball, football. Just kicking it out and just tearing it apart, that thought 
you're just tearing apart and just burning it because that is one way to go. That is the success and you are destined to be successful. No question about it. That's it, period. Again, when it, the doubt comes, the, the fear comes, just imagine that this is, you're just holding it and crushing it to dust and just burning it. Every single dust of it is burning and uh, spreading in thin air. Now, only what you have is the success. Only what you have is the faith, that humongous success, that belief what you have. Okay. So this is what you do. And every day you have to read it loud that I want to have a million dollar revenue, million dollar income by the end of 2022 from my business. What business? You just speak about it. Okay. For me, it's my um, online e-commerce business and my coaching and consulting business, my network marketing business and my coaching and consulting business. Okay, that is what, a million dollar income. Okay, next year it'll scale to $100 million income. So I'm speaking it, I am going to have it, I will have it, there is no question about it, period, that's it. And that has got a tremendous power then. So now we are going to conclude here by again coming back to our senses and realizing all our all our bodies now so we are coming back to senses you are you can feel the sensation on your forehead your uh, scalp and forehead and your eyes are getting relaxed and uh, you know you are going to come wide awake and you are ready for the action to accomplish your dreams okay so now your chin you know all your now you are coming back and you know realizing every part of your body your both the arms and your shoulders okay you are experiencing the senses and uh, you know your chest and your lower back upper back and your bottom thighs and uh, knee calves and your feet toes everything is sensation everything is energized and you are full of energy your body is uh, full of vitality and now you are ready for action. So with this, we are concluding now, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this session. And let me know if you want to um, have another session. We'll have it uh, multiple sessions as well. You know, if you want to join me in the next session, more than welcome. Let's change the world. Let's uh, get the ball rolling and let's uh, become successful. This is your homework, guys. Do not forget to write down your exact amount, what exactly you intend to give in return, exact date when you want to accomplish, exact plan, how you're going to accomplish. Begin on the plan now and every day from today or tonight, just make sure you read it loud at least twice, early in the morning after you get up from bed and before you go to sleep, just read it loud, okay? So that I am done and until next, over and out, this is Som, Som Prakash. I'm an entrepreneur, business coach and a consultant and also an author okay hope to see you soon guys bye bye